it's time to start the paint. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode four on the Swing Beach Cruiser. So we're gonna be dropping some paint down on this today. We're gonna to drop the first coat of base coat on this. These are the bits we're using today. So we've got Impact Junior spray gun for getting the base coat down and we are moving on to the custom paints that got sent out. So this is the first color that we are dropping down. So this is a black base coat and you will mix this with their D thinner. So you mix it two to one. We've got the measuring stick, so I'll show you the guidelines to do the two to one mix. So first off on this frame, we've got to just go around, have a good look around it, clean it down, blow it all off. If there's any little bits or imperfections that we need to just sort out, we can address them now with some fine filler, if there's any little bits. So we've got this piece to do in the black base coat. We've got the forks. Basically, all these bits are going in a black base to start off with. And then we've got the effect coat, which will be going down in the next episode. So you're not going to see the effect coat today. We've just got to get this into base because we've got a lot of masking off to do. Once the base coat's dry in here, I'm going to take you through some gold leafing in here. We've got the gold leaf to do in here as well. So quite a long process on this bike frame, guys. So we'll get stuck in. I'll stick you in a time lapse. We'll get all this frame cleaned down, all the bits blew off. And ready to go and then i'll run you through the mixing stages on the specialist paints see you in a bit right guys we're ready to mix the paint we've got a two to one measuring stick here so on your increments you go up with your paint up this side and then this one this side is your reducer so that's a two to one so we're going to mix them with the black paint we'll go up to there that little stir done with the base coat it is now the dread effects candy sweet shop because it smells very sweet smell this paint i find it's like a candy shop so the logo is going to be changed to dread effects custom candy shop yeah why not so yeah i'll take you around what we've been doing we've got all the black base coat down now i didn't capture everything in the time lapse because you can see all these bits hanging up there's not loads of room in here it's quite small the camera shots may make it look a bit bigger because it's like a 16.9 wide angle so it looks very big but it's not it's quite closed in here and you've got to sort of manipulate your way around as you're spraying stuff but we've used the custom paints base coat blanks first time i've used it so it's that one mixed with a thinner, two to one. We use the Impact Junior. I use about 1.5 bar pressure. This is a one mil tip set up on this. Sprayed it absolutely perfect. So if you've got a small gun set up, your base coat's an absolute dream for it. The base coat went down really well. It's put a nice finish out on there, on all the bits. So that's as far as I'm gonna go on this. Don't want to rush these videos and just have this all done and then the next camera shot you see me riding down the road with like really cool footage and music because i don't want it to be like that i want these videos so you're going to learn a process along the way because it's all well and good doing a step by step and it's like they rush it i want to show you what goes into this 
So if you've seen the beginning videos, you've seen the amount of prep that's gone into this, the primers that have gone into it, and now we're up to this stage with the base coats down. I've got a piece to address here. It's not all gone singing and dancing. We've got a little bit here where there was a little chip that I've missed, and we've got to get that sanded, a little bit of filler, drop a little bit more black over. So that's got to be done. These issues happen, guys, when you're painting. They really do, whether you're clear coating, you can get all the way to your final stages. You can smash some clear coat down. It looks lovely, stand back, you look at it, and then you start getting sags and runs. Then you've got to address them issues after. So I want to just take you through these as slow as I can, these processes, so you see every stage, and that's what it's about. And that's how you take things in, and that's how you learn. That's how I learn how to do these things, by watching people paint asking the questions so if you've got any questions guys drop them in the comments i'll get straight back to you on that but it's looking good so far it's tidied it just in black it looks a hundred percent better as it does now it looks really really cool just in black and this would have been the original color sort of of this bike but it's just all nice and clean black now instead of having all scratches and things like that. So that's the first stage done on the base. Join me in tomorrow's video, we're gonna start doing, I'm gonna get all this keyed up, so this will be all keyed, because I'm leaving this overnight. We'll have to come in and just gray scotch as a surface over this just to key it up so your next paint layer adheres to that paint. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something along the way. Why can't they do videos where you press the button and then you can smell in the studio what I'm smelling? Because you definitely come back and subscribe then. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Cheers.